What's happening you guys, my name is Houston from acarlton.com and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad on 4.2.1 using Green Poison. Now this, this jailbreak does not work on the first generation iPod Touch and the first generation iPhone. So once you go to the site, the link will be in the description down below. And you'll see these three buns and the little skull, right? So if you're a Mac user, click Mac. And if you're a Windows user, click Windows. But I'm sorry to tell you, Lynx users, that jailbreak has not came out for you guys yet. So once you clicked whatever user you are, which I'm a Windows, obviously, you get a RAR file that looks exactly like that one over there. Now, if you don't know what RAR files are, you have to extract it to your desktop or wherever you want to extract it to. You can't just open it up and jailbreak it. So basically you want to download WinRAR or uTorrent or whatever you want to download. The WinRAR will be in a link in description down below. So once you've got WinRAR, you want to extract to your desktop. We'll click close, extract to, click desktop, click OK, and exit out. Now you should be having two files that came up the green poison jailbreak itself and the instructions don't worry about the instructions here's what you need the green poison so after you click it this should appear now what you need to do what's saying to do is put your device in DFU mode so let me just put this down here and zoom into my iPod touch the light on and put in DFU mode. Now what you need to do if you have never done this before is hold the power button for 3 seconds and the home button for 10 seconds and then let go of the power button and then you're set. You just keep on holding until it's, it tells you not to. But So let me just do this right now. Prepare to jailbreak. 3 Two, one, hold. Then you hold the home button now. Keep holding the power button now. Now you want to let go of the power button now, but keep pulling the home button. Keep holding it. Now you're done that easy that you want to click is jailbreak now let it do its thing and jailbreak Now you could press quit and let it do its thing. And this is my iPod Touch 4th generation, if you're wondering. Now if this thing, if this thing wouldn't scroll down and it'll only have that little thing on the top, something was wrong, you need to redo it. So what you need to do if that did happen is hold the power and home button until it goes to a blank screen and then hold it for three more seconds until logo appears. So there's the skull logo itself. There I am. And then it went really blurry. <laughs> Let me just do a close up on that. Because it does look pretty cool. There we go. That's what it looks like. 
There's my Sony vloggy camera that I'm using right now. I will let you show you my stuff. Now it's loading up. I'll just keep on waiting for it to load up. And this thing should appear if you're on Windows saying that you have pictures and stuff like that. So just click exit. Now your iPod should be done. As you see now, you want to click it, now unlock. Now you should get Loader and Cydia if you could see that. Alright, so what you want to press is Loader. Loading Sources, Cydia. And then you should see a little thing on the bottom that says Install Cydia. Now you want to click Install Cydia. Wait for it. success. Now you could exit loader and reboot your device. What well, does it automatically? I don't even have to do it. Wait for it to reboot. Then there's a school again. Now it's loading as you could tell. This thing should appear again. That means it's pretty much done. So just exit out of there. And it should be done. No problems. Slide to unlock. And there's Cydia right there. And that white icon, that's my AdSense icon. That's not Cydia. If your Cydia icon is blank, you would need to actually go and get red snow and re jailbreak it from there i will give you a link in the description down below to one of my good friends tech kid 1000 how he did it on red snow and everything so that's all for this video you guys and if you have any further questions you could contact me by via skype i will be online my username is acardo10 wait for that to load up or you could contacting me from via YouTube I am a YouTube partner so I will help you as much as possible or my website itself throw off my light so yeah that's all I have to say for now so there are numerous ways you could contact me if you don't know what to do so that is all I have to say for now you guys I am out of here